What's up everybody, my name is Bobby and today I have another review for you guys. So today we're going to be looking at Friend of the Channel, um, you know, one of my favorite companies that has sent me stuff to review. And this guy is going to be a 3-in-1 wireless charger for all of your Apple devices. And you know, for those of you who have been following the MagSafe world for a while, you've probably seen something similar to this, but from Apple. And that is going to be this guy right here. So this is the Apple MagSafe Duo. And so this guy only has two chargers. It has a little spot to charge your Apple Watch right there, and then a magnetic MagSafe charger down at the bottom. Whereas this guy cracks out into three different chargers with your Apple Watch charger there in the middle, a MagSafe one on the left, and then a traditional wireless charger there on the right. And so, you know, it has like a couple extra functionality too, like you're able to magnetically kind of sit it like that. And if you want to use it as a stand, like a nightside stand, and you want to have your phone there, like with like an alarm clock, there's all sorts of like cool little things you can do with it based on the way that it sits. But as far as like a size profile goes, it's honestly not too much thicker. So if I stack them all on top of each other there, you can kind of see the difference in thickness. There are some other differences that I noticed, like the magnetic strength of this one and the build quality, it's significantly nicer. So, I mean, that's right off the bat. You hold this guy, it feels like it's worth the $100 plus price tag that it is. Now, the difference though, is with this one, you're getting it for, I believe it's on sale for like 56 bucks at the time of recording this video. It does feel flimsier, it does feel cheaper, but again, you're paying way less for it. The Apple charger there doesn't feel as sturdy, the magnetic strength is definitely not as nice, but it does charge three devices at once and it'll charge all of them at the same time. So granted you have it plugged into you know, like a, a 30 watt power adapter. I think it works with a 20 watt as well, but I personally used like a 30 watt for it just to make sure it was providing enough power. But I went on a business trip recently and I was able to MagSafe charge my phone here, charge my Apple Watch Series 7 pretty quickly right here, and then I had my AirPods sitting right there. So as far as like a travel solution, this was like an absolute no brainer for me because my biggest issue with using this guy as my travel charger is I would go ahead and have, I would bring this with me. I would charge my phone and then my um, Apple watch right there, but then I'd have to figure out what to do with my AirPods. So I'd have like another cable plugged into my power adapter that's charging my AirPods, or I would charge my phone overnight. And then when I was getting ready for the day, I, I would take my phone off and throw my AirPods on. It was just a whole convoluted mess of just trying to figure out how to pack as little crap as I could, but still be able to charge everything. This for me absolutely solved that issue. So I'm, you know, I don't, I don't use this every day. I use Zira's kind of like charging dock. That's like my daily charger that charges all my stuff. But for like a travel unit, you know, this has been an absolute dream for me. I Now one critique, I do wish that both of these were MagSafe. So this is the only one that's gonna have any magnetic, like, you know, alignment to it, especially because the new AirPod Pros are actually MagSafe compatible. And so if this was mag had MagSafe and this was MagSafe, one, you could charge two phones, say you and your spouse both wanna charge your phones if you don't have AirPods or something like that. But with an AirPod, you could toss it on there and it would magnetically line up to it. That's really the only critique that I have for it. And then maybe, you know, a little bit nicer build quality. But this isn't the kind of thing that I feel like build quality is super, super crucial. It's not like I'm beating it up really in any way. It just kind of sits wherever you place it. So, I mean, the build quality isn't bad. It's just not 100 $30 Apple quality, if that makes sense. And you're getting more functionality for way less price. So in my opinion, I definitely can recommend it. Um, I think it, you know, adds and solves a problem that I was having using this as my travel charger whenever I would go anywhere. I think the price is attractive and Zira has always stood behind their products in the past and everything they've sent to me. You know, all of it has been quality. I haven't really had anything that I felt like was like, you know, a bad move to show off to you guys, if that makes sense, which I can't say for every company that sent me stuff. 
So if you're interested, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Again, I think it's like 56 bucks. It doesn't come with the wall brick, so you won't need to supply that piece, but neither does the Apple one. I think like 90% of things don't come with a wall brick these days, so might as well pick one up. Zero has some good options for those as well. But yeah, that pretty much does it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to try to get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video or found it you know, useful in any way, I'd appreciate you giving it a thumbs up. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.